Greetings and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tatiana Ulvierte or Wolfheart. Uh, sharing stories, true life stories and experiences to heal and empower, to connect and to expand the consciousness. For those of you who are first time viewers, uh, I am an ET contactee, has have been in contact with extraterrestrial beings or star nation or star beings since early childhood. And uh, please visit my website, uh, which is etcm.no for more background information about me and the work I do. Okay, so today I'm also going to share uh, a couple of more uh, contact uh, experiences I've had uh, up over the up on the years. Uh, these uh, contacts have been uh, a lot of them have been happening in the 90s, and the the two at least the two I'm going to talk about today uh, also from the 90s. Uh, is more of a physical contact experience. I've always had a, a telepathic contact um, since early childhood, even then when I, I didn't understand that it was telepathic contact and how it worked, but today I know more about it. So, and, and that telepathic contact, it's still ongoing today. But these two experience, experiences I'm gonna share today is more of a physical kind and uh, they happened uh, at night time before I fell asleep I went to bed and this was before I fell asleep and uh, I had some health issues at that time uh, different ones uh, going on in approximately around the same in the same time span uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is more profound or made a, a bigger impact on me and uh, and gave me some insights some more insights about how uh, a physical contact experience uh, happen and, and how they come in and help you heal uh, and so on so I'll be uh, talking or sharing uh, the experience the first one and then I have also another one so I will first start with sharing the the, the contact experience, which I which I want to refer to as my first close encounter, physical contact with actually the the star beings. Uh, in my early childhood, the first contact experience I had then was more of a a physical contact or a contact with their their light ship. Um, but I didn't actually, I didn't actually have a physical contact with them, as f uh, in their physical form or whatever form they came, came in with, uh, or are coming in with. But these two s stories I will share today uh, are more of um, where I could feel and experience the, the more of a personal um, physical energy. Uh, that these star beings are coming in with when they are interacting with you and not always it depends on who they are and and how evolved they are and how enlightened they are and how they have what kind of you know inner technology they have to approach you approach you but because it can be very dangerous and it, it can alter uh, anything uh, or everything in, in inside of you your DNA and on the cellular level and uh, when they come in with their energy because the energy are so strong and uh, but I think they have and they know how to interact uh, and with whom and uh, in on with what kind of level uh, to not disturb or interact too much and, and you know create turmoil within your DNA, uh, DNA or cellular structure uh, at, depends on where you are and how ready you are and how, how ready you are for what kind of close encounter that's how I uh, experienced it uh, compared to when I was a uh, child for five years I had this contact with this star ship or their light ship 
uh, this um, experiences, these two experiences I'm going to share today, is a little bit different because they are, there were no, I couldn't, you know, I ha had no experience of their ships or anything, just the presence, if you can say their personal presence in the room. That's why I want to call it a physical uh, contact experience. So, uh, I can start with the one that had made the most profound uh, impact on me and uh, giving me some insights about that, how, uh, how this works and how, it, how, we, how I experienced it. So this was in the early 90s. Um, I was alone by myself uh, in my apartment and as I said before I had some, some, some health issues, not seriously, not serious ones but you know, enough to, to be annoying and, and I was wondering and reflecting over what, what it could be because I had uh, uh, I had uh, some problems in my hip and my knee. Uh, it, it hurt very bad when I was walking and it kind of locked it, it locked itself. My hip just locked and I couldn't move and it was very very painful and the same with my knee. I had some constant pains in my knees and it was worse worse when I walk, walked and so was the hip so I think it was you know hanging a little bit together that pain or the problem in my hip and in my knee but anyway I was wondering about that because it had uh, it was a little bit disturbing because um, uh, I was working and I needed to you know I walk, walked a lot because I was uh, working with the children so I had to walk and be you know active physical active so that was a problem to me so I spent a lot of you know nights and evenings wondering about this and this one particular evening I was going to bed thinking about this wondering what it was I just you know I wasn't particularly tired or anything I just had to you know go to bed because I was you know gonna get up early in the morning I went to bed pulled my covers up and wondering and I think then already then I, as I do today I had started on telepathic contact, telepathic uh, conversation. I just sent out some thoughts and I was wondering and asking uh, within myself. What I know today is that, that I, you know, actually I, I had a um, telepathic conversation going on. And I was lying there and um, suddenly, out of the blue, it was quiet in the apartment, it was quiet uh, outside, couldn't hear anything, it was, you know, totally quiet. I could hear this, this, uh, I could hear this metallic sound starting. It sounded like a, um, it was a metallic sound that I have never heard before on this earth. And it was a very, very uh, odd sound. It sounded, if, I, if I'm gonna, um, try to explain it so you can oh, probably get an idea it's, it's like if you take two kind of metallic plates and you put them together and you start you know rotating them rotating them together so it creates a squeaking metallic sound that is very like a high pitch sound it's very loud and I could hear it going as it went like a wee 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 what of course I can't, you know, make that sound myself because it was way out of this world. I've never heard it before and I've never heard it since. Uh, but the sound was very metallic and it went in a, it's like a, it went in a, in a, in sequence, you know, like a, it was rotating. It's like a rotating uh, energy going on there. And it started very, you know, low frequent and then it just got louder and louder and louder and the pitch the frequency of the sound got louder and louder and louder and I could hear it coming in from the right side where I was laying in the bed I could it came in and I could hear it only in my right ear as I was lying there and I was wondering what is this uh, I was trying again trying to rationalize it was it something outside? Was it in the room? No, the room was very too small and there was nobody at home in the apartment at all and no sounds and no disturbance outside or anything. It just 
came out of the blue and started, you know, rotating with this metallic sound. And um, it got louder and louder. As it got louder, it started, it felt like it, it started to penetrate my ear. And as, it, as the high frequent sound hit my ear, I could feel it. I could sense it, I could feel it. And it was almost like a painful little, you know, I could feel a kind of like a, a pinch in my ear. And at, the, at, this, at this point, the, loud, the sound was very loud. Yeah, it made my, I, I could feel that I got dizzy, it made my head, I, I could feel I got dizzy and I, I wasn't, I couldn't orientate myself in the room and I lost kind of, um, I just lost the sense of having control uh, and the sound was, you know, ongoing in my ear and, and when it just, it probably lasted for some seconds when it hit my ear, it probably lasted for some seconds and then it went quiet. It was totally quiet and I could feel this energy uh, just um, coming over me, starting from the air, going on in my head. Uh, I could feel it in going through my body all the way down to my toes. This energy was just vibrating. Uh, it was a vibrating energy and I could, after a while, I couldn't feel my body. I was totally paralyzed. My whole body was paralyzed. I couldn't move a single finger. I couldn't move a toe or anything. I, I realized that when I was lying there. But I was awake and I was aware. And I could, you know, slightly move my eyes back and forth. I checked it out. Oh, I thought, I was thinking, oh, at least I can move my eyes. But what, what on earth is going on? Because this is where I never had any kind of experience like this before. And... I just went with it. I thought this, this is, uh, this, I just have to see what happens because I couldn't do anything. I lost totally control and I felt it was fine. I wasn't scared or anything. I, I just knew that this is some kind of contact. There is some energy in this room and the energy is making contact and it's doing something. I didn't know what and I wasn't scared. Uh, I just went with it and I was lying there and in just you know in seconds I couldn't feel anything I was totally paralyzed only moving my, my eyes totally aware and awake and I was lying there I had this, the cover or blanket or cover uh, on top of me uh, I just had some underwears uh, I you know that I had went to bed with uh, my underwear only my underwear and uh, I could See, I was looking down, you know, like my, on my body, looking down, and I could see the covers just slowly sliding off my body. It was like somebody just grabbed my covers at the at, at my feet and just uh, pulling the covers off my body. And I remember thinking that, oh, you can't do that. That's not fair because, you know... I like to have my covers on and I don't want my covers to be taken off because I don't have much, I'm not wearing much, I just have my underwear. And uh, having this conversation and, and I just, I, I felt that in, it was kind of, it was a little bit, I would giggle a little bit because I thought it was funny. They just, you know, but they had respect. It was done with respect, just sliding off the cover with respect. I, I wasn't afraid and just said that, come on, you know. Do you have to do this? And I said, okay, go ahead, you know. And they, and they pulled the covers, I could see the covers was all the way down to my feet, around my feet, and not covering my feet at all. It was laid down. The, the, the funny thing is, the weird thing is, is I couldn't see any hands. There was no hands. It was like a, a, an a visible, invisible presence in the room. Uh, but I could feel and sense the energy Although I, my body was totally paralyzed, but I was awake and aware in my consciousness. Uh, but I couldn't see anybody in the room, although the covers went off. And I thought, okay, this is very weird. And uh, it went another seconds. Uh, everything went, you know, it was done with very, in a, in a very respectful manner. And, and I could, you know, kind of take it in while it was, uh, while it was happening. 
And then, uh, the worst thing of all was, I was looking down, wondering about how weird it was, how, why, how it could be that my body was totally paralyzed, but I, I couldn't move a finger, and I couldn't move a, a toe. And at the same time, my right foot, my right leg, uh, just started to, to, uh, to rise up like this. If, if, if this is my body, and this is my right leg, I could see by looking down on my body that my right leg from the hip, if this is my hip, from the hip, my, my leg was coming up like this, was coming up and like this, standing just, you know, uh, vertically straight up like this. I, I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel a single thing. I couldn't see anybody touching my leg at all. I just saw my leg literally just uh, floating. It was just floating up from the hip and up. So it was the weirdest thing. I thought I I get a little again because as I was looking at my leg. I, I, I remember thinking, what is this? My leg is like coming up vertically and standing up like this, straight. And it, it wasn't even you know my knee was also straight. It was completely straight. And I was thinking, who is doing this? I can't see anybody doing this. I can't see anybody doing, but I could just feel this presence and seeing my leg floating, you know, floating and making its way uh, on its own up there. And then, watching my leg, I uh, couldn't feel a single thing. I could see my leg ro started rotating uh, slowly uh, uh, at one side first, slowly, you know, like this, rotating like this. And then it stopped and it started rotating the other way slowly and it felt like there was a person there knowing exactly what they were doing it was a kind of it was a purpose with what they were doing and i can still couldn't feel anything and uh watching this a couple of times rotating back ro rotating back and forth i could then uh, see that my foot was put down very slowly back again uh, in a straight position next to my uh, other leg and then it dawned on me and I was thinking oh god they are doing something to me I'm not afraid and uh, and I think this they must be helping me they must be you know this is some kind of healing going on and I started you know to to recognize that and I thought it was amazing and I went with it and and um, I remember lying there, the foot was put down, and then I could, uh, I could, uh, you know, I was still uh, thinking about this, wondering about this healing, and I thought it was wonderful, and while reflecting on that, still couldn't move, I was just reflecting on what just had happened, I started to, you know, feel a tingling sensation in my toes, going upward into my feet, into my legs and knees and suddenly I could just start uh, start feeling my toes and my legs and my knees and my thighs and my hips again and all the way I could feel this energy uh, uh, just moving up, ting you know, tickling feeling up all the way to my head uh, and stop there and I felt like the presence that was in the room was leaving the room slowly in a very respectful manner and I started to get the feeling in my body back again. I could feel my toes and everything. I could, you know, I could move my hands and I remember I just moved my head to, you know, just to see if, if my body was, you know, intact again, that I had control over my body and so I did. And I think this uh, experience was so amazing, lying there reflecting over it, concluded that this was a healing and while thinking about this, um, wondering and reflecting over it, I started to get very tired, you know, I was had a, you know, I, I felt great but I felt very, very uh, relaxed 
and getting tired and they went a while and I think I fell asleep because in the morning uh, I woke up totally aware of what, what happened, remembered everything and starting my day and this, uh, what I noticed right away what, oh my god, I can, you know, stand up, walk around and my uh, my hip and my knee is not acting up. I didn't ha have any pain anymore. The pain was just vanished. The pain was gone. And I was so happy. I almost, you know, just jumped around and danced around. And I had to go outside, just walk and to feel, to really, you know, to really feel if, if, if it actually happened, that the pain was gone. And yes, it was. It was gone. And... And to this day, it has never returned, and I haven't felt any problems in my hip or knee area again. So, uh, it's amazing. Uh, so, that was the first uh, contact healing experience I had with them, with the presence, with the star beings being in the room. Okay, so uh, after that experience with the healing in my hip and my knee, I think it just went maybe it's weeks, not too many weeks, but weeks in between. I also had some issues, so health issues, in my in in my stomach area, and I, I went to the doctor about it. Did I? I believe I did, but I couldn't. But there was couldn't find anything. I thought maybe it was just you know pass. It's gonna pass, and and I just let let you know left it there to you know just pass. Um, but it didn't go away. It started being constant every day. You know more constant and more constant. And again, I find myself having this conversation, telepathic conversation, uh, talking to someone, somebody about this and people may refer it as talking to yourself about it, whatever. You know, you have a higher self so you can talk to the higher self and, and you know, solve things at that, you know, in, on that level. Uh, but it was more wondering and, you know, pondering and wondering again as I did with my hip and knee. And, and then it was this one night again going to sleep I uh, wasn't tired just going to sleep and you know I also when I go to sleep I always take myself some time re reflecting over the day and thinking and you know trying to you know just recap the day so I did um, again I just pondering and wondering about you know my uh, stomach uh, issues and as I did Again, I can feel this presence in my bedroom, and I since I had the other experience, I I immediately thought that okay, this is now this is happening again. They are coming back. Uh, the, they are here. They the presence uh, are in the room, and I recognized the feeling. But this time I couldn't hear that the squeaky sound of two this squeaking metallic sound, there were no sound at all, just this presence. The bedroom was filled with this presence. Uh, and I for sure could feel that there was some one or several ones in the room, at least someone in the room. And um, well, I thought that, okay, I go with that and see what happens. Uh, again, I could this time I could just feel this tingling feeling coming over me, starting in my head, tingling all the way down from my head, top of my head, and all the way down to my toes again. Again, not not any sound this time, just this energy, vibrating energy, vibrating energy going down through my body. And uh, again, I got paralyzed, couldn't feel anything. So I was left in this paralyzed state, this physical paralyzed state again. I didn't mind knowing that this presence in the room didn't, you know, I wasn't afraid, it was not going to hurt me. I had some good experience with it, so I recognized it. And um, this time also, 
uh, I, I could feel and see the bed covers that I was covered in uh, pull, being pulled down of my body and this time not all the way down to my feet it was just pulled down uh, to approximately about my knees I think it was and this time uh, this, that was different from the, the time before that I couldn't see any hands in the room I couldn't see any physical a kind of presence um, or I couldn't see any physical body in the room although I could really feel the presence of someone or somebody or several ones this time I could I, I looked down at my body again and when I looked down uh, at my stomach area I could see this is weird <laughs> I can remember it this clearly today I could see not the physical hand itself, but I could see f f long fingerprints put on my stomach. Uh, it's like somebody pushes, it's like if somebody should push your hand on your stomach, push it really hard so that it would leave a mark on your, on your skin. But this was not hard. It pushed very slowly and very gently pushed. I could see my stomach uh, going inwards uh, and I could certainly feel in a way or even though I couldn't move my body I could kind of feel not feel but I could more see see my stomach just being pushed down uh, like this if two hands were like lying if you know if this was my stomach if this is my stomach and these are the hands put on my stomach like this and pushing down several times slowly and gently couldn't see any physical hands i could only see like a dense uh, fingerprint on my stomach and the, and the fingers were very long slender long fingers i don't remember how many fingers print i saw on my stomach but i could for sure see uh that there were you know like if you put you put put your hand on a cushion and when you take it off, and you can see that where your hand uh, went. That's what, how I could see on my stomach. And I found, found it very, very weird, very odd. And I, 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 I tried to wrap my mind uh, around this and said, how can this be? I can't, see a phys I can't see physical fingers or hands or even a physical being in the room. But it, it, for certain, I could feel the presence and, and see... The, the print, like the fingerprint or the pressure wherever the hands were put on the stomach. Oh, very weird, even today, thinking, thinking about it. But anyway, it pushed my stomach very gently uh, down and it went up and it went down and went up. I had no control over it at all. And I, I just, you know, went with it and I thought that, oh, this, this, this must, this has to have something to do with my uh, stomach uh, issues. So I just went with it and, 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 you know, looked, observed it. Still, just, I could only move my uh, eyes uh, and still very awake and aware, uh, consciously. And I could see the room. I could see the room and I see my bed, see my body, but I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't for sure not see anybody in the room but definitely feel a very uh, a very a presence that was very very close even touching me or doing something to my body since I couldn't actually feel the touch but I could see it you know experience it I could see the touch uh, on my stomach um, again uh, um, it stopped and I was lying there looking at my stomach, nothing more happened, but I was just uh, still uh, in a paralyzed state, uh, waiting, kind of. And I went some seconds there, and I could again uh, feel that the energy in the room that was very present started to uh, go away, uh, it started to disappear. The presence was uh, going away as if, yeah, as if, it, yeah, just going away. And as that, I could feel that 
in a, on a conscious level also, uh, I could feel, at the same time, I could feel a tingling starting down at my toes again. And the tingling feeling going upwards my legs and, and, and all the way up to, to my head and, you know, going around my body and then I could start feeling my toes again and my hands again. So the, the paralyzing state was, you know, gone. So I was, could feel my body again. And I couldn't believe it that this happened again. Uh, just in a, in a few weeks in between, you know, a few weeks since the last time. And uh, being kind of ill and nauseous about the when I had this uh, stomach issue, it drained me very much of my energy. But uh, now, uh, feeling my body and coming back with my body not being paralyzed again, I this time I couldn't sleep. I was so energized. I, ha I had so much energy going on. And I think I would just I was just laughing and crying at the same time, realizing that, oh my gosh, they've been here giving me healing. They've been here helping with me with my stomach issue. It was wonderful and I couldn't sleep. I was full of energy and energy. I just had to, you know, get up from bed and started walking around. I was walking around in, in you know in in my apartment. And the thing is that I, I had although I hadn't been drinking as much water in the prior to going to bed, I was I had to go you know I had to go to the bathroom like all night long. I couldn't s sleep at all. So I was uh, I just had I I had so much energy I couldn't go to sleep. So I was awake all the night, all night through going to the bathroom, going to the bathroom, as if I had been drinking like buckets and buckets of water, but I had not. So I, I knew also then that I had this feeling of, that my body was cleansed and that I was just cleansing my body uh, with going to the bathroom a lot and a lot and it was just coming and coming and coming and I, I just had to you know go with it and um, I thought it was pretty much funny, uh, I think, and um, I had a blast with that, so much energy, and I could feel this, I was so much in bliss and joy, and I was so heightened with energy, I, 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 have, I don't think I've had that kind of energy level ever since, <laughs> so <laughs> it was a very profound experience, the feeling of energy and, and what was going on the rest of the night, walking around, couldn't sleep, uh, uh, and in the morning I was still hyper on energy, and I was wondering, oh my god, I haven't been sleeping at all that night, and I'm still full of energy. And I remember that morning and, and the days after that, I had huge inspirational incoming energy giving me a lot of inspiration so I started drawing pictures of uh, extraterrestrial beings or star beings and some of the ships and I was just drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and some of the, the, the pictures uh, I made them I have uh, on my website so, so uh, please visit and have a look if you're interested and I just want to say thank you so much for having patience with me and and listening to my uh, experiences because I think sharing experiences is like sharing is caring and sharing is to uh, to connect and sharing is to expand our consciousness and I think sharing is very important because it yeah so as I said it connects and connects and, and reunites it's connecting the dots again and un unites us uh, as a whole so that's why I will um, you know start with uh, with sharing some experience with the uh, contact with extraterrestrial beings or star beings at first I, as I said in a previous video I will come back to sharing a little bit more about Another wisdom and the insights and 
what kind of message they have uh, given me and, and to share uh, with others. I will come into that later. Um, so I think that this is it for now. I will wrap this up and um, I wish you all well and stay tuned and have your eyes to the sky. Uh, remember to to just have an open mind and a loving heart and if you want contact and if you want to know how more about how to make contact I will also be sharing my own experience with that and but anyway as several other people out there ET contactees are saying that it's very important to have an open mind and loving heart and, and most of all you have to have a, a pure and a loving intent for, uh, for having contact, for making contact. And um, yeah. So, eyes to the sky, people. Stay tuned and I'll be back. And please have a, have a look at my website, etcn.no. And please, if you have any questions or just want to share some stories with me, go to the contact link on my website and, and send me a, a mail to me and I would read them and I would respond to them uh, as best as I can. Uh, yeah, but until next time, uh, namaste, be kind, see you later. Bye-bye.